Yes, I'm back. And right now I'm breaking down the alt-right movement. This is nothing but the Klan in suits. These white supremacists are trying to redefine and reform white supremacy. Because they're trying to distance themselves. They're trying to actually get the word white supremacy banned. This is another code. This is a new code of white supremacy. We need to not get caught in this con game. Illinois people are these wicked white supremacists who like to um, add a new add new forms of white supremacy and just change different words around, use different code words. But I want y'all to hear this alt-right member explaining the agenda of this new white supremacy movement called alt-right. Let's go ahead and play that clip. Hello, I'm Jared Taylor with American Renaissance. What's the alt-right or alternative right? Millions of people heard the term for the first time when Hillary Clinton mentioned it in a campaign ad last week. A campaign chair that ran a website that has become a field day for the alt-right, which is racist and all sorts of other ists. The alt-right, which is a sort of dressed up in suits version of the neo-Nazi and white supremacist movements. She said it's full of terrible people and she tried to connect it to Donald Trump. So the mainstream media are now full of stories explaining the alt-right. Man, let's, let's debunk that because even though the media is full of shit, they, they support alt-right. That's just another con game. They're trying to distance themselves from the out-in-the-open white supremacy. Spencer, excuse me, Richard Spencer. He is an alt-right founder. He ain't denounced Trump. He supports Trump. He said Trump is the champion for alt-right movement. So this is already one of the many lies this white supremacist is about to tell in this clip. But let's continue. Even a Japanese newspaper interviewed me the other day about the Aruto Raito. As a long-standing member of the alt-right, this is how I see it. We are a broad dissident movement that includes many different websites, organizations, and viewpoints. Some members hold distinctive positions on sex roles, trade and free markets, forms of government, and foreign policy. But they all agree on one thing. Equality is a dangerous myth. The alt-right is united in rejecting the current dogma that all races are equal. He that already tells us that he's an open white supremacist talking about equality. We don't stand for that shit. That's basically what he said. Let's continue. Races are different. They differ in average levels of intelligence. They do not build identical societies. And there is no reason to think non-whites can maintain Western civilization. See, another lie. See, this is why... I advocate us to buy the four series of Hidden Colors and show our children. Because these white supremacists love to get on national TV and spread the false narrative. The false hieroglyphs. See, this is why we need to start showing our children Hidden Colors. Because the white supremacist children will watch some fuckery like this and then go to school and try to act like the white race is all high and mighty. We did this. <sighs> Black people built every bit of civilization in this earth. And color shows us that the Moors that weren't Muslim, just Muslim, because there were Christian Moors, Hebrew Moors. There was every Moor wasn't just Muslim. See, they like to do that too. Try to isolate the Moors. Oh, that was just an Arab Muslim group. No, everyone. That's why we need to go back to using that term more, because more means black. No one was called black in them type in them ancient Egypt type days. It was just Moors, Moorish people. But um, the Moors built Western 
the Western civilization. They maintained Europe. They saved Europe. Because Europe was just a shithole of white people killing each other, eating each other, doing drugs. Just They didn't even know how to take baths. And Colors tells us that. And before anyone tries to debunk Hen Colors, like, oh, what, well, how you know Hen Colors is telling the truth? And that's just documentary. They could have just said that. Just make let black people look. Then how come Tariq hasn't been sued yet? Because unless you're European, you can't put out false documentaries. So if everything in Hen Colors is a lie, then Tariq, would've, he wouldn't have been able to make four series of it and he would have been sued by now. But let's continue. Civilization that whites created. And most people prefer the culture created by their own race and prefer to be around people like themselves. Blacks, Hispanics, and Asians express this preference all the time and everyone thinks it's fine. It's only whites who are thought to be immoral if they openly prefer the culture, society, and people of Europe. Uh, that just makes now, you if you're shocked promise. by what I've said so far, you're not part of the alt-right. Not yet. But just wait. We're growing all the time. The alt-right is eager to have the honest dialogue on race that former Attorney General Eric Holder and others claim to want. Well, they're not sincere. They want to exclude everyone who disagrees with them. Honest dialogue is meaningless if everyone already agrees. Let me give you a little alt-right history. The term was first used in 2008 and came out of the political discussion group, the H.L. Mencken Club. And the people who first popularized the expression were Richard Spencer and Paul Gottfried. In the last eight years, the alt-right has expanded enormously. It's now closely associated with websites such as V-Dare, Taki's Magazine, my own American Renaissance, and many bold new sites such as Radix Journal, Social Matter, The Right Stuff, Red Ice Radio, The Political Cesspool, and The Alternative Right. Many of the most creative and dynamic members are the alt-right Twitter army, always ready with clever memes and smackdowns against liberal journalists. Most of the people in the alt-right, especially the younger ones, have to hide their identities because of our oppressive political atmosphere. Only a you're tiny the clan fraction of the alt-right can afford to be open about their views because if you dissent publicly, you can be fired from your job, kicked out of school. It's like the dissident movement in the old Soviet Union, despite the fact that we claim to live in the land of the free and the home of the brave. Hillary Clinton and the press have tried to tie the alt-right to Alex Jones and to various people associated with Breitbart.com and to Donald Trump himself. This is dishonest. Oh, it's None fair. of these people has ever taken up the cause of white identity or talked openly about race and IQ. That's a damn lie. Trump's whole fucking movement has been about the white race, make America white again. Take back our country. Yeah. <laughs> These white supremacists would just... It just amazes me how they'll just flat out lie. And act like people are that dumb and naive. Not to look in and dissect their fuckery. But let's continue. We may be sympathetic to people such as Steve Bannon of Breitbart and Donald Trump. Because of their views on immigration. But they have never spoken up for explicitly white interests. Lies. If you want to learn more about the alt-right, the biological reality of race, or the importance of white racial consciousness, please visit our website, American Renaissance, at www.amran.com, or any of the other sites that I've mentioned. It could be your first step into a world where things finally make sense, where there are real solutions to problems liberal orthodoxy can't even understand much less solve. Join us in the struggle for a better. See, these white supremacists, um, they're wicked as hell. Now, the, the founder, Richard Spencer, I'm, a, um, I'm about to uh, read what he said. Now, I'm going to try to find this article and uh, leave it in the description. 
Let me see. Bear with me. Bear with me, people. Hold up. I'm almost got it. Hold on. Now, this is the found one of the founders of alt right. This this white supremacist said the whole point is what we've got to survive. Whether something is constitutional, legal, to completely be honest, I could give a shit. Survival is more important than law. Now that's white supremacist one on one. Cause like I told y'all, they're in survival mode. Lee said he don't care. He, it's, it's by any means white supremacy. Whether it's legal or illegal, they don't give a fuck. They just need they just want to survive. I told y'all. It's the last leg for white supremacy. These people are wicked. And we need to be on alert. So I said we need to build our own codes and our strategic ideas. We need to stop playing around. Now, that clip I played was Jared Taylor. He's an alt-white, white supremacist advocate. And I thought it was going to play this one part because I heard in a different clip where he's talking about people in the Congo are poor and that's their fault. Uh, it's not white people's fault, which is a damn lie because you colonized Pretty much all of Africa. You control all the resources. You put trade sanctions on everything. You control the military. You decipated Africa. Talking about black people didn't even know what a calendar was, which is a damn lie. Because I'll leave that article in the description. The Adams calendar was made by a black man. See, these white supremacists, that I told y'all, they'll tell, they'll lie so much, they'll start to believe. They didn't create anything for real. White people didn't create anything other than patents so they can steal people's creations, preferably black people's creations. That's all they did. But let me know what y'all think. I'll leave the articles in the description. Get in the comments, like, subscribe, share the video.